Hi, everybody. I'm Congresswoman Lauren Underwood, and I have the honor of representing Illinois' 14th Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives, and I am a proud nurse. I'm delighted to be joining you for this event, and I want to begin by saying thank you to every nurse who is watching. Every day, nurses are on the front lines, the front lines of clinical care, the front lines of cutting edge research, and the front lines of policy advocacy at the local, state, and federal levels. Nurses are leaders in every community across the country and deserve more than thanks and praise. Nurses deserve meaningful support at every stage of their education and their careers. As one of just a few nurses in Congress, I am proud to champion this mission in the House of Representatives. As a member of the Appropriations Committee, I have prioritized robust investments for Title VIII nursing workforce development programs and the National Institute of Nursing Research, providing critical funding for our nation's nursing students, faculty, and researchers. I've been proud to secure increased funding for these important programs, and I am committed to boosting these funding levels even more in the upcoming fiscal year but additional work is needed to strengthen nursing education and grow the nursing workforce, which is why I introduced the bicameral Future Advancement of Academic Nursing Act, known as the FAN Act, which would make an unprecedented $1 billion investment in schools of nursing. I also introduced the Black Maternal Health Momnibus Act, a suite of 12 bills to comprehensively address our nation's maternal health crisis, including historic investments to grow and diversify our nation's perinatal nursing workforce. My legislation would expand the pipeline of future nurses, which is needed now more than ever. And as we work to pass these bills, we must also implement evidence-based safe staffing strategies. Consistent with the recommendations of the American Nurses Association, I support legislation to require healthcare facilities to establish and empower nurse-driven staffing committees to develop and implement staffing plans that reflect the needs of the patient population, the skills and experience of the nursing staff, and the layout and resources of a given unit. And on top of safe staffing, we need to make sure our nurses are getting paid. In 2022, I was able to get my bipartisan VA nurse and physician assistant raise act signed into law, increased maximum salaries for registered nurses and PAs at the Veterans Health Administration. Thanks to the raise act becoming law, VA is now able to recruit and retain top healthcare talent and ensure our veterans are receiving the timely, high quality care they've earned. Another way I'm working to support VA's nurses and expand access to care is by ensuring that certified registered nurse anesthetists can practice without physician supervision requirements in VA facilities, just like they can in TRICARE and the majority of states. Ensuring that every nurse can practice to the full extent of their education and training is the right thing to do for our nurses and for the patients they care for. And as they provide this care, nurses need and deserve to be safe in their workplaces. That's why I was proud to co-sponsor the Workplace Violence Prevention for Healthcare and Social Service Workers Act, which would require the Occupational Safety and Health Administration to create an enforceable standard to address workplace violence in hospitals and other healthcare settings, which experience the highest rates of injuries caused by workplace violence of any industry. And I've also supported efforts to establish rules to protect nurses and other healthcare workers against COVID-19 and other infectious disease threats. These are critical issues, and I am grateful for everything you're doing to tackle these causes and so many others. I look forward to continuing this urgent work with you, and I hope to see you again soon. Until then, take good care of yourselves.